All right, guys, I'm going to just go over real quick with my plan for tomorrow. I've actually got the next four days off. I took some time off from work uh, for my birthday tomorrow and to try to hunt a little bit of pre-rut, getting really close to rut here in Nebraska for whitetail. I'm going to the public piece where I was at last, which is actually a new public piece for me this year. And I went in there blind that afternoon and found a decent tree over some trails and did manage to see the does and fawns out. Um, where I thought they would be feeding in the evening, have a good idea of where they're coming from from bedding. Uh, I did a bunch of what we want to call e-scouting or just looking at Onyx maps and trying to figure out kind of where they were bedding in comparison to where the public property is and where private is that I don't have access, etc. And <clears throat> finding those transition lines and where I think they could possibly be traveling to get to their evening and overnight feeding. And I'm hoping to sneak in early tomorrow morning. I'm actually gonna take the backpack stand and get in there real early, really slowly at dark. And it's a long walk to get up and around based on the wind direction to the spot where I'd like to be. I don't know that tomorrow's spot is the ideal hunting spot per se, but I think I can get in there safely and get set up without bumping anything off the field and try to see exactly where it is that they're traveling to get back to their beds in the morning. And then hopefully after they've gone back and off the field in the morning and I've given it some time, I wanna get down and maybe move that stand closer to the trail. But you never know, I might get lucky and land right on it tomorrow morning. So we'll see. I'm gonna um, talk through it here looking at Onyx maps and then I'll try to pop up pictures. Um, I'm not crazy tech savvy, so I'm just putting up pictures with um, editing out the information that give away the area, I would say, and I don't want to do that. So um, I'm just kind of show you what I got going on. Again, this is a public piece that's located along the river. It's timber with open pasture that's, or I should say open grassland that is uh, kind of boxed in between ag land and riverbed. Like I said, I was in there on the last video in that tree stand overlooking the bean field where we saw the does and the fawns uh, later in the evening. And so anyway, I'll talk through the map here. Here's the public property. As you can see, the river and the ag land, the boundaries for the actual public piece. The one side of the river is not accessible unless I get a kayak in there, but I'm not ready to do that yet. So anyway, we got the one parking lot. You can see this is where the does and fawns resided on that hunt. It was that September 26th, I believe and my tree stand was right in this area that night. But looking at the maps and doing what they call, you wanna call it e-scouting. If I was to guess looking at this, you can see, um, I mean, you'll hear people talk about as far as the river, kind of on the outside of a bend, kind of view that as a area where the deer are kind of funneled, not necessarily on this piece because there's no trees along the outside of that bend, but on the inside of the bend, a lot of times is uh, good bedding. On the current riverbed, um, on the inside bend, there is a good transition line between what looks like thick timber and uh, other foliage and um, small shrubs, whatever, down in there. Good bedding, but also, if I'm looking at the old riverbed, before the river shifted here, there's another inside bend in the north corner that has more transition, not as much bedding area. Based on where I seen them the other night, um, I'm guessing this group of deer is bedding in that northern piece, which is obviously off the public piece. If that was on the public piece, my goal would be to get in deep as that as I could onto that, even that transition line toward the bedding while they're out on the field. However, obviously that's private. So my goal is to try to figure out where they're traveling. Let's say they are bedding there. Where is it that they're traveling to get out to this ag field? As well as you can see on the public piece, there's actually this little corner that is planted with clover and is a good food plot on the actual public piece. So anyway, when I'm coming along, coming from their bedding toward that corner, let's say where those deer were seen, where are they gonna travel likely along transition lines? So then I come in and look. And based on what I've seen that night, I think that they're more than likely traveling just along this private field edge um, down into the field here. So ideally, I would like to be 
in a tree stand right in this area but I think I'll have a hard time getting a tree stand actually that far and being so exposed to the field especially putting it up in the dark while they're out on the field so I'm going to sit back here maybe 150 yards off the field and set up in this tree I believe as it looks like there might be a little tunnel through these trees where I might be able to see out into the field pretty well as well as seeing this these transition lines on the inside and if anything I'm hoping at least I'll see deer moving maybe out of bow range but along these lines along this field line and knowing that if I can get down later that morning closer to noon and move my tree stand up to that optimal spot maybe then when I get in there on Friday morning I'll be able to actually get it get on a deer right there on that coming off the field along that tree line so anyway that's the goal for tomorrow um, I'm gonna be up early and heading out there to put that tree stand in the dark so uh, hopefully I'll be checking back in with more footage of that tomorrow and we get a buck down this week tomorrow would be great birthday buck would be great so okay well made it out here this morning it's about a little after five it's dead calm a little chilly so um, it's about a mile walk in there and I'm gonna have to sneak because it is dead calm and like I said, I'm trying to get up in that tree, maybe midway between where I think they're feeding and bedding. Excuse me, we got about like a three quarter waning moon. Um, so it's fairly light, but I'm probably still gonna use a light to try to get out there on this riverbed. Guess I'll check in when we get to the stand. Just had some deer come out back behind me to the east. 
east here. They're coming around the base of that horseshoe, just hugging the transition line. She's moving pretty quick. Actually heading straight toward me. And I had good eyes on her. Unfortunately, when I went to try to get a video of her, my cell phone camera through the binocular, I lost her. But I'm pretty sure that she's hugging the inside of that transition line, maybe on the inside of this horseshoe. Going to bed here on this inner part of this horseshoe, which is where I am sat up here on the ground. And I'm pretty sure I'm right in the middle of their beds to some degree, not smack dab, but in the area where the beds are. I've seen a lot of beds around here. Um, and like I said, I've had some deer walk by just before shooting light, and I was just too far back. I'm pretty sure they were both does. I could really use that sun to break over those trees and put some light on me because I've been out here for a couple hours and it's getting cold now. I think for tomorrow I'll definitely hang a tree up in the beak of this horseshoe and on the center side. It's going to be another south wind day tomorrow morning. So if I can sit up on the north peak of that horseshoe on the inside, hopefully I can at least get a good feel for where deer are moving without getting busted in here. Deer yeah, may be a little more aggressive after that. But for now, I'm just going to sit out this morning, see if we get lucky here. Okay, so there was a lot of noise when I was recording this section. Essentially, I was walking along the eastern border and uh, realizing that there's a lot of game trail over here and they were likely crossing over into that old river bed for bedding. 
So I was trying to find places where the trails ran together the most or where they came out of the trees, the thickest trail, our most cut trail, and then trying to find a good tree stand or set up with the wind the next morning over those trails. I was thinking this is likely going to be a uh, antlerless or doe stand, but I wanted to get the, the stand set up for the next morning and have that set up. Kind of what I was looking for. Let's see these game trails out in here. They're going north south and then they're funneling to this main trail. Up and over the fence. And then just a thick well mat down, well cut down trail. Back through the trees and the riverbed would be to the east through that thicket. South trails. This is the back side of that horseshoe. And see here too, there's a good trail cut. It's going through the thicket there. And there's some going through the thicket there. I'm going to come back here and put my tree stand right up in that tree. I have a good vantage point of this whole transition. So worst case scenario, I just got to see what deer are doing. Best case scenario, I get one coming through these trails and put it down. I love milkweed and I love being able to grab it on the way to the stand for thermal and wind check, but look out there when you're still hunting or watching in whitetail territory, doesn't that look like just thousands of whitetail? So it takes away their giveaway. All right, well, I got back into where I was this morning and got all my gear out. Had a bit of a malfunction with the backpack stand straps this morning. Maybe a little too much weight on the straps as I had my backpack on it as well. And <laughs> lost my balance, went to my knees, and straps came undone, and everything popped apart. So just gonna carry it back to that tree there for the morning set and then get out of here come back in the morning and I'll show you that uh, setup when I get it down here let me show you this is the view from the tree stand so this is on the east side of that horseshoe I'm looking east old dry riverbeds over there that timber and that's the boundary lots of game trails down in there and like I said everything is kind of funneling and then cutting through these trails either out through here or actually just straight under the stand in this side as well thick thick cover behind me that's where they're coming from feeding cutting across that horseshoe and coming back over here to bed I believe even underneath my stand here there's a trail that comes out to a nice little opening back here we've got a south wind tomorrow so it'll be blowing that way hopefully it's southeast to kind of go back into the thicket instead of up the transition but either way I expect the deer to be out here to my south. Make a good shooting hole here on the tree line. And then I've got a good shot right out there. Decent shot over here. Anyway, that'll pretty much end it for day one. I'm gonna get home and eat and head to uh, District Cross Country to cheer on my wife's team. So we will check back in tomorrow morning from this tree stand and hopefully put down a buck or at least a doe. That's a beautiful sight. Long seven hours in the woods this morning. Good afternoon. Time to go eat. Rest up for tomorrow. Just a beautiful place here.